Hey gang, just wanted to stop by and say hello. We're gonna do a little wrap session here sponsored by our friends at Stellar Cyber. So if your company has any need for cybersecurity, you're not gonna find a better outfit than Stellar Cyber. They're in like 28 countries now and they're growing fast. So I wanted to come out and reach out to you and say hello and let you know that uh, we've been working hard diligently since the season ended. Um, and obviously getting rings made for the players. Those are in production, fellas. Don't worry about it. We're hoping, we were hoping to get them by Christmas. It's going to be close. We, we won't know. Those of you who come back and play for the Raptors, you'll probably get your rings at home plate opening night on the ceremony. But more importantly, many of you may or may not know, but Cash Beecham retired as the manager of the Raptors. In fact, he made a decision that he was going to retire from managing anywhere. Um, because it's just, uh, you know, the ulcers, you can't take it anymore. Now, he's going to be a hitting coach in another league, and we wish Cash best of luck, and he's awesome. But that meant I had to spend some time finding a new skipper. And we spent a lot of time uh, interviewing a lot of people, taking a lot of resumes, and I came to the conclusion. And I've always felt that it's best to promote from within when possible. And in this case, uh, not only are we promoting from within, but I think we've got the best candidate possible that was submitted. And so right now, I'd like to introduce our new skipper for 2024. Please welcome Evan Parker. Thank you, Bags. Hey, Evan, how are you? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Good. So tell me, what it, what's it feel like being a, this could be your third year with the Raptors. Now, when fourth. you started in 21, fourth. this will be your fourth year. Yep. When you started in 21, and you were just kind of like a bench coach, a uh, bullpen coach kind of guy. And in a short period of time, you're you're now the the manager of the Raptors. So tell me that thought process. You, you got to be swimming a little bit. Yeah, no, definitely, man. Um, obviously, first and foremost, I want to tell you how. Uh, well, I, I'm gonna, I'm going to talk to you, but I'll look over here. Yeah. Uh, I'm very I'm very proud. I'm very happy to have this job. Um, I'm very invested into what happens here in Ogden. This team means everything to me. Um, I enjoy coming to work every day. Uh, I enjoy putting the Raptors uniform on and wearing it with pride. And honestly, you know, being a first year head coach last year and testing my formula out. I mean, we got a ring, man. So I think I think that we found a formula uh, for winning that will work. We know what that playoff format is like, and uh, I'm excited to uh, I'm excited for the challenge. Yeah, it was a tough August. Yep. That's for sure. Yep. Um, it's going to be a tough July for us coming up yep. this, in 2024. Uh, the schedule as it is, we only have five home games in the entire month of July. <laughs> so coming out of the gate is going to be massively important. Yes. But you're the guy to do it. I mean, folks, this is Evan Parker, who was born in Ogden, went to school in Ogden. He's wearing the Bonneville High Lakers jersey right now. Actually, were, were, did the Raptors start before you were born or was it the same? When's your birthday? 92 but i mean last oh. year last year was the 30th season yeah, so, and i yeah. was 30. yeah you, you know, were so. too you were running around calling everybody names right but you were still wearing your raptors jersey even when you were three yes sir so um tell um you, you learned a lot from cash yeah the year before as a pitching coach les lancaster who's yep. the skipper and in, in uh for the rocky mountain vibes can you tell me the last couple of years or even the third year under dean have you learned something from all three of those guys yeah. that you're carrying into your Absolutely. own philosophy? So right now I'm going to take a moment and shout those guys out. Dean Stiles was the manager the first year that I was here. He treated me with uh, the utmost respect. I had my daughter, uh, my first daughter that year. I was unable to go on the road and Dean just told me, hey man, um, you know, family first always. And so Dino, I love you, brother. Um, Cash. I cannot say enough about Cash Beecham. I know that at some point Cash will watch this. And uh, Daddy Shark, I just want to tell you that I love you, man. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything that you've taught me. Um, baseball gold, literally. Baseball knowledge gold. I would hear come out of Cash's mouth every day. And uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a notebook of things that he said that, uh, that I review and study and less um another mentor of mine i mean the guy pitching the big leagues for however many years and he is uh less has always treated me with the utmost respect and uh 
I was fortunate enough to compete against them this last year. But yeah, you know, I've I've taken things out of all their books, but I'm not going to tell them what what they are because I might end up playing them. Yeah, that's right. You 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 can you can love them, but you still got to beat them. Yep. Um, I I know how you are as as a person. I also know how you are as a uh, instructor and a coach. They're not the same people. Mm -mm. Um, tell the viewers right now, what can they expect to see on the field with an Evan Parker-led ball club? Well, first and foremost, and I said this last year as well, every guy on my staff, or every guy, not my staff anymore, every guy on my roster will be a competitor. And I expect, I have expectations with guys, uh, with how they carry themselves on the field, how they carry themselves off the field. Uh, we are out on the line, uh, on time. We, we just carry ourselves a certain way. When we go on the road, when we go to visiting clubhouses, when we go to visiting hotels, everything will be buttoned up the way that it needs to be. And it, there's pretty much a zero tolerance policy with me. And I know for a fact that when you put things out in that way and you run things that way, good things happen. Well, and that's one of the reasons that Evan is a great choice to be our skipper because he not only will, will take care of the Raptor brand across the chest, but he will also take care of that other brand that's across the chest that says Ogden on it. Because yep. we both live here and this is, we're invested in our communities and we're not gonna let anything happen Absolutely. to uh, besmirch that. Um, so. You fans, I want you to know that Evan is a different cat, man. Um, he likes to use the word when it comes to players that he wants savages. And I think you saw that the last two and a half weeks of the season. We were struggling, no doubt about it. And then it was it was planned all along. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to take a beating, but have faith the last two weeks. I got to be honest with you, Ev. I was losing faith there. Yeah. And then you and Cash just completely turned the whole thing and the switch went off and that team was tough to beat. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, <clears throat> that comes down to doing things the right way. You know, I mean, you have to do things a certain way in order to put yourself in that position. But with the way this league works, the best thing that you can do is try to get a playoff spot. And then when you get into the playoffs, it's ground zero. Everything goes to zeros. Everyone's stats, everything none of the regular season matters and you just have to play every game you know i mean we go out and lose the opening round of the play opening game opening round of the playoffs 11 nothing yeah i got boat raced yeah we could have rolled over so easily but that group of guys were so resilient shout out to my 2023 guys anything you guys ever need you guys are in with me forever no matter what that's a special group of guys we're hoping some of those 2023 yep. Yep. guys are 2024 guys oh absolutely absolutely <laughs> yeah so um yeah, the team, the resiliency of that team, uh, I, I've never been around it before. But I know that it can be recreated if you get the right guys in the clubhouse, you get the right chemistry, you get guys bought into a certain plan, and uh, you just go, man. Huh. You just go play. Well, yeah, and it's the, the, you know, it, one thing about indie ball and this hybrid league that we're playing in is, uh, you know, you want every player to be with you from the start of the season to the end of the season. It doesn't work that way. You have injuries, you have players that don't perform well, and it's a next man up type uh, attitude. It's almost like sometimes the clubhouse door is more of a turnstile than a door, and we hate to see that. Yeah. But, you know, what are we playing for? Absolutely. Playing to win, that's it. There's no development. Yeah, and Cash also instilled something into me. You know, I mean, I really – I prided ourselves last year on having the least amount of transactions, having the least amount of turnover. And that gives guys a certain, you know, I guess you can call it a little bit of a comfort zone, but also at the same time, you know, hey, just relax, go play, go yeah. be who you are. Don't try to do too much. And when you allow guys to do that, you put guys into positions uh, to succeed and the, the plan worked. Yeah. Well, one thing, folks, you will be guaranteed to watch is, is uh, Evan will make sure of it, is effort. And effort knows no score. Absolutely. And it doesn't take a lot of ability to, to run hard. And so we're going to be a team that moves. We're Hopefully we're going to be a strike-throwing team. We're going to be a, a, a contact offensive team. Um, you know, we were lucky to have a guy like uh, Reese Alexiotis that hit 30 home runs. I don't know if we'll find another one of those. Right. 
but uh, we're diligently working on, on getting a roster filled as quickly as we can. Hopefully some of the kids that uh, as soon as they find out you're the skipper will get off the fence and yep. sign their contracts. And if not, we, we go forward and we'll get the best team on the field possible. We can't guarantee championships, folks. We've only won two in 30 years. But we can't we can guarantee effort and we can't guarantee entertainment and we can guarantee having fun at the ballpark. And I think with Evan being our skipper, uh, those criteria will be met. One fun thing about Evan is, Kevin, maybe um, you, you showed up before in an episode where you had Evan mic'd up and he went out to the mound and had a little conversation with the uh, – who was the pitcher? Uh, I think Matthew Hess. Hess. Yeah. I love that kid. I hope he's coming back. Yeah. Hey, listen to me. In a start, you're allowed to pitch into a little bit of traffic. That's what you're doing right here. The last inning, you really didn't pitch into traffic. We just didn't help you out. You know what I mean? So that last inning, nothing is earned on you. This is part of the laws of averages of the game. Now, we don't have a choice. We got to f***ing punch. Okay, we got to make like eight out of ten pitches of the next f***ing three hitters and get out of this. You got me? Let's f***ing go right now. Let's go, baby. Um... Play that, play that in this clip, and fans will get a little taste of what Evan's all about and how he, you know, psychology when it comes to t talking to players. Anything you want to add? Um, yeah, I would just like to say, obviously, I've, I've said this already, but I'm super proud to have this job. I grew up literally idolizing this team. I was just a little runt running around the ballpark as a, as a young kid. You know, I used to run the bases all the time. Um, this is a dream come true for me, and uh, I guess I'm just telling Ogden right now, I'm going to put all of myself into this. Uh, I encourage our community to come out to our games. Uh, I plan on having more community engagement with uh, some of our players as far as, um, you know, maybe going to schools or doing some camps and stuff like that. So um, I'm very much looking forward to this, and uh, I'll do my best to make my hometown proud. And we know you will, uh, and you are the right guy. Um it's funny, I, all those interviews I was doing, it turned out the right guy was in my backyard all along. <laughs> and we're promoting from within, and that's that means everything to me. Now, um, we still have other coaching positions we have to fill. We have to look for a hitting coach. So if you are a hitting coach, or you know somebody who's a hitting coach, um, we're still receiving resumes for that. You can quickly send them to players at ogden-raptors.com. And Evan and I will review them and, and we'll contact those that we want to have a conversation with. We're planning on Mason Ross coming back. Uh, we might increase his role as well. Yep. Um, Brian Kleppe, uh Brian's still looking for a managerial uh, position somewhere, but uh, I told him to stay in touch if that doesn't work out. Um, but we're fired up for 2024, folks. Oh, one final thing before we go. Here it is. It's November 10th, I think. Uh, we've got a local elections coming up on the 21st of November. If you haven't sent your ballots in, you got to vote. I don't care who you vote for when it comes to mayor or city council. You have to vote. Um, if you don't, it, we had a very low turnout in the primary, and I don't understand that. If you vote, you have a say. If you don't vote, then you've got nothing you can complain about. You have no right to complain at all. So vote. Get out and vote. And uh, while you're there, make sure you put your vote in for the Ogden Raptors as the team to beat in 2024. So on behalf of myself and our new skipper, Evan, yeah. I know Ashland's pumped. Yeah, yeah. Bill and Heidi are pumped. Yeah, absolutely, man. We're going to have some fun. Raptors yeah. baseball, baby. Ciao, baby.